All right, hey, how's it going? Uh, this is a quick tutorial on how to create uh, your own material. So we'll go ahead, right click, create the material, and we'll call it new planet mat. Open that up. So now what we need is a base color texture and a normal map texture. So in order to get that, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use Google. And if you search, grass texture seamless on Google Images. Uh, what you're going to want to look for is uh, a texture that's the power of two. So you want, um, you know, uh, 512 by 512, or uh, 1024 by 512, 2048 by 4068, or 4096, I mean, uh, anything like that, as long as it's power of two, uh, you'll be good to go in, in terms of that. So we'll view this image, and I'll copy it. Open up Photoshop, edit, paste, and I just gotta resize it because this te this texture is actually 10 tw or 2048 by 2048, and this canvas is only 1024. So apply, and now what we want to do save as a PNG, and we'll call it Grass D PNG. Yes, yes. Okay, so now. You want to search Google for normal map generator. I've got normal map online, get help here. Click this guy, and we'll get this little setup here. Click on the first image, and now we can do grass D. So now what you want to really do is just kind of play with the levels. And find a good... balance to your bumps here. You don't want it too much. Well, you want it obviously enough for you know, to be able to see that there are bumps there. So that looks pretty good. So I want to do grass underscore n. Download that guy. Save. him into my content browser. That's the normal map I just created. And then and the grass diffuse I just created. And just to kind of give them extra, I think I'm gonna download the specular map as well. Uh no, no I won't. All right, so once those are in your content browser, you have your diffuse and normal map. You want to drag both of those into your material. So now we have our normal map and our diffuse. So plug this guy into normal, plug this guy into base color. As you can see, now we have a grass texture on here. And in order to get it to work right here, let me show this real quick. So I'll minimize here, drag this guy. Uh, no, it's not gonna work, I gotta go. Planet mat, compile, save, close you. Drag it down. So as you can see, the material is really big. So if I go ahead and hit play, you'll see it's very stretched out. It doesn't look right. In order to fix that, although that material does look really cool big. All right, in order to fix that, we can add a texture coordinate node. Plug that into UV, into UV. You can and basically all this what this is doing is tiling the material over and over again so it's smaller so if i hit play now you'll see it's a much finer grass texture yay i'm looking through okay um 
So yeah, it's not too bad. Looks, looks alright. And if I mean, if it's too much for you, if you don't want it to be that scaled, you can, of course, bring it down. The higher the number, the more tiled is going to be. The lower the number, the less tiled is going to be. So that actually doesn't look that bad. I really like this texture, actually. And uh, let's try 50 and 50. That looks pretty good. It's not too bad, honestly. Ship here. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. All right, well, that is how you make a custom texture. Um, or rather, one way of doing it. It's a very, very basic texture. Um, one little thing extra that you could do is uh, you could also plug this into specular. So you get a green shine instead of... The uh, the white shine when the sun looks at it. Um, if you don't want to shine it all, oh, oops. you hit, hold one and and left click, and it'll give you what's called a constant, and you can set it up so it doesn't have any shine, and it has a lot of roughness. So there's not any specularity to it so it it looks like you know rough grass or very dry green grass <laughs> essentially um all right so i really hope that uh answered your question i'll get this uploaded and i'll see you in the next video